Okay, terrible uh, happenings going on. Our uh, old 13-year-old uh, Olympus E3 stopped focusing while Bella was taking soccer pictures. Um, I don't know if you can see on the screen here that... Can you see? Yeah, no, maybe. Yeah, that's good. Good? Yep. This black thing started showing up in the pictures. That nice big black square there. That black square happens to be this mirror here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to perform surgery. I don't know if I'd recommend this for anybody to do. I have a silly headlamp on my head, so if the lighting's getting all crazy, it's because it's me. What I've done is I've taken some liquid electrical tape, just because it's what I had handy. There's also rubber dip stuff you can get. These are jeweler's pliers, or jeweler's uh, needle nose. And I've coated the end of those. If you can see, my camera girl just walked right away from me. So if you can see, we've just taken a little coat put on there. We'll let that dry. And possibly put another little coat on. Clean the mirror. We're going to use some uh, Gorilla Glue, Super Glue, but a gel. Sometimes the gels have a little bit more flexibility to them. Um, so we're going to try to get that in there in the spot where that will not cause a problem. Why don't you tell me how well you can see any of this inside? Uh, yep, that's good. So I don't know if you can see, that mirror actually flips up in that little bottom spot. But if you pick it up too far, it closes on you. So we got to try to get wiggled down in there, get that mirror down, get it perfectly flat, level and square and not move this too awful much when we do so to see if we can get things to work how they're supposed to. In case you want to know what it looks like inside, there you go. You probably shouldn't do this by hand or manually or anything because, you know, it's probably terrible on stuff. Okay, so after letting that coating dry and everything, you can see what we're going to do is take, make sure we can see this properly down in here. I don't know how well you can see that on camera. Mm -hmm. Not at all. Mm -hmm. A little bit there. A little bit there. Yeah, you can see like the edge of it. So you may not be able to see too awful much on this. What we're going to do is try to get it to where you can see as much as possible. Can't see through my fat hands. No, can't see through your hands. There at all? No, nope, it's way too dark down in there. Really? With all that light even? Yeah, because the shadow's coming down this way. Hmm. That surprises me. What if I move that light out of the way? Can it see it at all then? So I want him to see what... Yep, you can see it now. So the little black thing underneath the thing that he's touching. Okay, so... Oh. So you can see it's going to be hard to navigate that down there. I'm going to film this anyways while I do this. I don't have enough angles or ability to show it, and I'm sorry. I wish I could. But what we're going to do is get our mirror ready here. Make sure we can pick that up. So I'm just testing that. Okay. doesn't poke a hole in it like I thought it would. I think it's this way. Yeah, it's usually on the top. Mm -hmm. Nope. It's alright. We have pins. I have a pencil as well. The objective to this is one, like always, make sure everything is clean. I've cleaned this a couple of times. 
can't see anything over there if that's what you want. Is the camera in the way or something? No, it's just too bright because it's all white. Is that better? Yep. Okay, so I'm putting glue back in the spots where it was. I'm going to let this run off. See, just to avoid that. So we have a ton of glue there. Still want to come out some. So I want to get it to where I can just... Put a dab. Because there was already three little glue marks where it used to be glued into the camera. But with 13 years of using it, it, yes, Sunday in the cold, it kind of broke off. The only time my phone ever goes off is when I'm doing a video. So I have a Q-tip here ready. You'll see what that's for here in a second. I'm going to have to turn my light back on. So that's more than enough glue. Are you going to need me to hold something open or no? Can't touch anything. It's like operation. Except there is no redo. Except there is no redo. And if I win, I start cussing. You know, I've done something wrong. So, Q-tip is to take should have practiced this one handed a little bit I have a microfiber cloth here so I'm putting it in there to be able to take put in and add my pressure so that super glue will glue so, I think the instructions say to hold it for 15 to 45 seconds. Just trying to get a nice little workaround on that. I want to pull out and look. Make sure we're still good. We are. Okay. Now I just gotta see if the camera works now. This top mirror here, everyone will tell you do not clean that. Send this in for professionals. Yada yada. Which is true. We're just trying to save a very old camera right now for functionality. 
So we have that all together. We're going to install the lens. We are not going to activate the shutter. We're just going to see if we have autofocus. It is most important. You just activated the shutter. I did. Because I forgot to take that off. Do we have autofocus? I got it. Set it up right here. As of right now, yes, we do. Oh, thank the Lord Almighty, we have autofocus back in there. You very, very, very. I don't know if it's accurate though. Remember, it has to be 100% right in there. So, we'll let her sit overnight. Hopefully everything holds. Um, the reason it's kind of an important thing is the girls actually got their first commercial job for a real estate agency on doing some real estate photography coming up in uh, five days, four days. So anyways, we hope this holds. Um, kind of a disappointment early in the game. Uh, but that's what you have when you have older equipment. When I looked up the shutter actuations on this camera, it's either like 40,000 or 80,000 pictures that this particular camera's taken. Quite a few. Um, the camera's still in excellent shape all the way around though. Realistically, it was no mechanical failure. It was a glue failure after so many years. But, Hey, if you find this interesting, let me know. Leave a comment. Have a great day.